What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with the next four minutes series. This one's for Ra and unfortunately we can't really do a four minute series on Ra because there's just too much to really go into. So we're going to stretch it this time. You got a little bit more to learn if you want to play Ra. But the beautiful thing about Ra is a lot of the time, if you know the build, you don't have a lot to think about. So we're going to be doing this one first. This one's on... Uh, 600 food we'll do the 900 food we'll do all we'll, we'll do the no hunt start all of that good stuff for Ra, and we'll show you how it's all gonna get done here so first things first we're gonna come over here and uh probably better to not shoot that dead but we're gonna shoot that dead nonetheless uh i'm gonna come over here and do the exactly the same style if you're aware of my egyptian starts you will know this is how i like to start with egyptian on nearly every single spawn i do a, a single circle around this map here and i'm looking for i'm looking for hunt basically so this is a good location here uh basically we're just going to look for hunt and once we've got three villages over onto this location we're going to be wanting to send the next villages out onto the next location so we could go here we could go here uh this one looks really really good nice and close our fair is already over here we can keep scouting here if we want but I'm going to come back and I'm just going to empower this because I've seen the town center. I see the the granary here. You want you can you can very easily get to the next age if you if you if you do this different like if you just scout as well and then come back with the pharaoh. The point is we're going to be leaving our pharaoh here for a little bit. Uh, no worries. Okay, so next thing is next we've got to make sure that this giraffe here is not too far away. So. I'm gonna do a little cheeky, cheeky micro here. Send that close to the granary. Uh, that is gonna do. Sure, why not? We might move the priest onto the town center there. Uh, okay, so we've got eight villages on food. Golden number, eight villages on food. And we're gonna be coming over here to drop a house next. You may notice we haven't put our, um, we haven't put our monument down yet. Uh, but really all I'm waiting for here is 140 gold out of this uh out of this gold mine and i'm going to put both of these villages onto both of those uh things here so at this point we can grab the temple and grab the monument and drop that down no uh no problems there I'm going three villages onto wood now this is to get all of our wood upgrades we need those fairly fast uh, this villager here is going to want to build us a couple of houses here. You don't really have to build them all. And in fact, I it depends on what level you are in the game. But I would recommend uh, not actually building all your houses with this villager straight away. In fact, you could probably stop it at two houses here. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm just going to get two houses. And I'll show you when you build them a little bit later. Uh, and there'll be no problem. So we get another villager out. And we're going to be advancing at 3.30. You can see our food is already coming up. The reason this works so well is because you get the double empowerment on the two separate food sources. Uh, it doesn't quite work as well with the other sieves, uh, the other Egyptian sieves, but all good. We're going up through Dar here. You need to. Uh, and we're going to be moving our villagers around just a little bit. So these guys who are in our base are coming over here. Our priest is coming forward onto the food here. This villager here is going to be building granary on the berries. All this stuff is very important. We're going to be getting ourselves husbandry. We probably don't need to actually... The reason, the reason for this movement around is because we're going to be moving our pigs over onto this town center. But with this map spawn, I don't really need to. This is just a... Uh, no. This is just a uh, kind of optimization. Like, if you have a, if you've got hunt next to your town, then you probably should just go and eat that while you're waiting. But we definitely we definitely want this uh, in this way, anyways. Okay, so we see the gold's coming up. We're going to be wanting that four, first 400 gold to go straight in onto this town. So unfortunately, we don't really have it just yet because of the way the um, the build went but it's still not that late here as we can drop it down at about 440 not going to be the worst in the world here we've got lots of resources in the bank and get ourselves a shadoof at this point now we're going to start putting villages over onto what well, we can eat the rest of this giraffe here as well we'll put the rest of the villages over onto um things that we need so we'll drop our armory we're going to take uh this well these villages can stay here actually because we want to get ourselves pickaxe eventually but these eight villages on gold are probably going to be enough here. But we do need to make sure we've got enough food here to sustain villager production. This is actually quite important. Uh, as 
this all continues you along. You are you are here. These villages here will finish up on this. We've now got the resources to drop our farms, so we will start dropping farms here. Uh, these villages can come over here. We start the villages over here. I'm going to drop farms over here as well, because we want to hit the rain button as soon as we can. In fact, even even on this many farms here, it's probably worth it to drop the to drop the rain. So we'll just drop it now because we want to be advancing fairly soon. Okay, onwards and upwards. We've almost got enough resources for. Uh... Oh, that farm is bad. Kind of just moved of its own accord. Okay, now we get the resources to get ourselves plow. Let me just keep dropping farms here. Now we get ourselves how many farms are here. We've gone up for 15 farms. That's what I want. I want 15 farms. Uh, the This location over here seems like it's a bit full, so we're going to send villages over onto wood now. Our town center. And we're going to get our last farm over here. All good. We're aiming for about a 7.30 advance time. 8.30 advance time. Uh, and we'll see how if we're going to be able to get close to that here. It seems like everything went fairly on the nose here. It's fairly, um, fairly consistent, fairly strong. No real worries where that's concerned. As more villagers come in, we've got another 30 seconds to wait. As we wait on this, uh, this gold to come in. And our economy is going to be absolutely gigantic. To get one more villager out, it looks like, and then we will be advancing from this hometown center. Seems completely fine. Right, we can come from this town center actually, so let's do that. Even faster than uh, than 8:30 here. Wonderful. Uh, so that's the build. It's really, really strong. This is a really, really strong build. A really, really good way to play Ra. Uh, it works on pretty much every single map. Uh, it, with with this build, if you have two separate hunt spawns with your your initial Pharaoh scout. Uh, I would recommend this on nearly every single map, even maps where you start with um, you start with and like 900 food here, and you don't actually have to leave your your home base. This might even be the better better way to go, depending on how everything goes, because then you also have hunt in your base, and you don't have to build this granary on the uh, on the berries that are here. Uh, alternatively, you have tons of goat. You can just share the goat between the two town centers and be completely fine there as well. But this is an absolutely bonkers build. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best way to play, uh, to, the, the best way to start with Ra. If you're going for the the two town center fast heroic, it's it's quite a, it's it's quite a few more farms than than you're actually used to for a 7:30 advance time or 8:30 heroic age. Normally it's 12 farms for an 8:30 heroic age, but this is 15. So your economy is absolutely going to be cooking uh, in this uh, in this one. Not only that, you get all your upgrades. You're also going to be getting yourself very very fast the wood and um, well, basically the wood for shaft mine and irrigation which are the two next upgrades you want to be getting anyways that's the build for this sort of 600 food start not even 600 food it's more like a 500 food start uh because we left a little bit of that hunt in our base for, for later anyways but uh that's the kind of that's the kind of first build we'll show you the one with like a ton of hunt at the start to show you just how much faster it can all get up but it's essentially the same thing uh and yeah we'll jump into that right now all right so it turns out that the build order uh, for the 600 food that I showed pretty much works on every single map and it is really really strong on every single map and you probably should use it on every single map but you might find yourself getting a map spawn like this where's my zebra where's my hunt I don't know where my hunt is uh there might be two zebra here it might be really tough for me to do a hunting dog start what are you gonna do well in my honest opinion it's probably best to take the gamble that you're going to get a three zebra spawn, a four zebra spawn, or a five zebra spawn over the two zebra spawn that's possible here. So you've got a one in four or one in four chance of of uh, of having a kind of rough rough time with hunting dogs. Uh, beyond that, you've also got the giraffe. Now, now, if you've only got six hundred food on the giraffe, there is a possibility of a two giraffe spawn, but there is also a possibility of a five giraffe spawn. So it's a minimum of minimum of six hundred, maximum of fifteen hundred, right? So food that is uh, total on that spawn plus the zebra. So you have a maximum of twenty five hundred food uh, total, including the zebra and the giraffe, and you have a minimum 
of 1,000 with the zebra and the giraffe. So obviously at 1,000 food, the argument for hunting dogs diminishes quite heavily. I feel like it's probably better to not get hunting dogs on that spawn, but you just don't know. You just don't know what's best on that spawn. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you, I don't know what, what, what to do here. I'm gonna do the old uh, husbandry first build order. It's, it's, it's not, I wouldn't call it strong, but it's not weak. And the reason it's just good is because nothing is going to go wrong for you. You're going to be able to get everything you want out of this. Uh, the most important thing is that you need to scout really, really heavily with this, uh, with this pharaoh. If you don't scout heavily with the pharaoh, you're going to find yourself uh, not having enough herdables to stay alive. So we find our zebra here and it's two zebra. So it's a low zebra spawn. So this map, we would be happy to be doing this build. So, I mean, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Anyways, the general gist of this build is very simple. You go seven villages on food, you go five villages on gold, you go three villages on wood, and put some more onto food, more onto gold. Again, happy days. Pick up any relics you see. We're doing a huge scout here. Try not to have Idle Town Center like me. Uh, the other thing is, on a map like this, where you're com when, where you don't have starting hunt, it means that your opponent is not going to be able to get a ridiculously fast advance time here, uh, because they don't have starting hunt either. So you can actually afford to not go for a 4:30 advance time on this map, which is which is all right, which is good. Why are you idle? Don't be idle. But we need to get our monument up as well. Forgot about that. We're gonna to have to get a house down as well. Don't want to forget that. It seems to me like we've got enough goats here. So I'm going to come back to here and start empowering the granary. Monument finishes up. We will need to get a house here. So I'll chuck that up with the next villager. Uh, still good on food. Few days. I'm only gonna throw the one house down here because I'm trying to be I'm trying to be efficient even in uh even in this kind of a kind of a inefficient build, even in that this kind of a circumstance, trying to be efficient. Okay. So Pharaoh's back. We're gonna bring some goats over here. The good thing about this build is that you do get husbandry nice and early. So when you eat the goats, you're gonna be able to uh, have that bonus uh, food income, which is really really nice. Okay. So now we need to throw that temple down next. We'll just get a villager on that. Temple comes down. Happy days. The next village is over here onto the uh, onto the wood line. I'm trying to kill one goat at a time here. I think that's actually really, really important. It's something that Age of Empires 2 players do really well. Uh, and it's not that important in um in mythology, but uh, like we don't actually need more than two villages on food on wood here. Not three villages on wood, just two. Because you don't have to get the extra hundred wood out for um for husbandry. You can see how I do this on the uh, on the goats here. I'm actually going to move these villages home now that I'm putting more villages onto onto food here to make sure I can advance. We're looking for a five minute advance time, so we get one more villager out. I'm going to throw down that, some extra houses here as well. And again, we're going to be putting eight villages over onto uh, onto gold, and the rest are going to be on food here. Yes, I really hope you've got some food in you. You don't. <laughs> Would have liked to advance here. Okay, we'll just town bell and hope. All right, we could. A uh, <laughs> little bit of, little bit of uh, what, what would I can only describe uh, could be inefficiency from my behalf here in this sun. You should have the resources to advance there, but I did not. I'm gonna come over here, swap the villages around. I want to get myself uh, Shadoof. I want to get myself ha Husbandry. I don't particularly care about the, the, the pickaxe super early in this build, but I know people do. I don't think it's as important as people reckon. So that's why I only went two villages on wood here. You can put three villages on wood, maybe go for a 315 advance and get and get and get pickaxe, but I am not that way inclined at all. Alrighty, so now we're up. We're gonna be moving our pharaoh over here. And get ourselves the uh, thing. Do this now. We can make this village called an armory here. And the town center down. In which? In which? Got a couple more villages over onto gold as well. Plenty of food now. We need this gold here for uh, for the farms that we want to be building. 
So I'll put the Fit Priest back over on that location. We're going to ignore that there's Hunt here because they're very unlikely for you to actually have Hunt here. Now we've got ourselves our, our villages. We're going to be building our farms here. There is a way in which you can make these farms look very, very pretty. But I am not going to be going for it. And now we're going to put farms over here. And we will be casting rain basically straight away. The villages that come out of here have priority on the farms, obviously. Because we don't have any food over there. Uh, you can probably afford to throw a farm up over here now. Uh, these guys got idled for whatever reason. I might have hunt deleted myself. We want to be getting pickaxe when we can. How many farms we have now? Seven. Twelve. Okay, so now we're just going to come onto the gold mine. So you can see that on this build, we only get 12 farms. As opposed to the, uh, the other build where we get 15 and we get a similar advance time. And then that's essentially the build. We will be able to get an 8.30 advance time here. This villager needs to finish up here, just getting all the houses down for the heroic age to spam all the units out. But you can see that that food is coming up. Seven minutes and uh, ten seconds, I think. Yeah, look, we're basically going to be able to advance at 7.15, 7.30. It's about, about the same advance time, but just with fewer farms. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's go for that advance here if we can. There you go. So it's about a 7.30 and 12 farms, husbandry. So that... I always want to make this video here just to really, really emphasize that point that the husbandry build that you see people going for is not as good as a hunting dog's build. And you can see it. You can literally see it here in the lack of farms that I've got. It's 100% just in the lack of farms. I'm short three farms. I've got the same upgrades. I'm yeah. short three farms. And I don't have hunting dogs. So I, even if I wanted to right now, if, if, if this f food was here and I had hunting dogs and I missed it and I found it, I could actually take villages off of farms yeah. now, eat this and then come back onto the farms and have an even better time. Uh, so this is why I'm like, yeah, it's, it's just not the best build to go for uh, husbandry first if you have good hunt or if, if you have hunt at all, even then. Because like, you're not going to be able to get pushed off hunt in the early game. Like in the archaic age, you probably can't do that. It's not possible. So going out and eating that hunt early, very smart. Anyway. All right. Let's show you uh, just one more little build. This one is for more of the fun side of Ra, the not so try hard side of Ra. This build does work some of the time against some civilizations, but uh, it's a very, very unique build. Normally, I wouldn't include this in the uh in the the kind of four minute series but it feels like this is kind of the way to do it anyways uh so effectively we're going to be showing you a version of one town center bast play where the idea is we want to be making sphinx and having a fun time with sphinx so uh, let's uh let's just jump into it the idea is that we want to get sphinx we want to get farms we're going to cast rain and use it all kind of to help out it only really works on a high hunt map otherwise things are um a little bit sad so we're using it on marship all right come over here drop this down i'm gonna come on marsh we don't really need a scout uh and this is kind of also part of the uh part and parcel like why it's quite good here but we're gonna be doing some uh empowerment on the gold as well in order to get ourselves our monuments down really nice and fast we got these pigs here as well for us for a little bit later because uh, we are going to be wanting to drop our farms down quite early uh, to make this all feel very nice and happy. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deer. That's a lot of deer, but we need a lot of food for this build. I mean, if you have, you can do this build with less food, but you have to do a slightly different opener, but you can work it out. Uh, given all of the uh, information that you've seen now, basically, I reckon it's not that hard. All right, onwards and upwards. Okay, we're gonna drop our monument down. Want gold? This build might look a little bit familiar, but it, uh, I assure you, it does does change just a little. Oh, that's fine. It's not what I wanted to have happen, but it's not that bad. 
image. We'll make sure we and have we the food come income and it will come through here, so we're all good. Three, I'm gonna shoot three, this three, three, this uh, guy over here and start working my way around this food just a little bit more. We've got the house first, don't we? Yeah, house and then the second monument comes down. She probably doesn't. Well, yeah. Put the monument down here, maybe with this villager. I can come over onto gold and get us the the uh, the gold to advance, or the temple, build the temple, or whatever it is. We do need to get some villagers over onto wood. Hopefully we can get that temple up. Obviously we have the priest here to help us out on this as well. This should be completely fine. Gonna empower this up and do the little trick that we've shown before. Now we're going to start putting some villagers over onto gold. Oh, I was not paying attention. There we are. Good. I'll be back onto the temple. Let's get the temple up nice and fast. Keep checking these villages out. You can put them uh, on a... Put uh, some houses down, actually. Oh, I missed it, but that's fine. Last villager. Should be finishing up on this fairly shortly. Four I think I royally screwed that temple up here, but that's totally fine. We don't need that many villages on that anyways. And we're going to go up through the bast. Just come over here. Keep throwing houses down, get all our houses down. Uh, first upgrade is going to be... Um, is going to be husbandry, but we're a little bit short on that. And we're going to get ourselves... Oh, I need to be on this. And we're going to get ourselves after husbandry. We're going to be getting ourselves plow, and then we're going to put our farms down. It's a super, super simple build. Super difficult to defend. You can possibly even throw up another monument here as well if you really want more favor and more fun with myth units, but... We do not. We don't want fun. We want... We want what we want, and when we want, and how we want. And there's the advance. We get ourselves the Sphinx. Get ourselves our, uh, our plow out as well. Sending the villagers over onto the, uh, to the gold tier. So we're going to be making our farms. It costs a lot of gold. We can also throw down the armory as well with that villager. We've got our Sphinx to go and raid, yada, yada, yada. Pretending like you're raiding with the Sphinx. And we're going to throw our farms down here. It costs a lot of gold when you don't have... Uh, when you don't have... Shadoof. That's why this is kind of less than ideal. But hey, what can you do? On the farm. Just keep throwing the farms out. Like, raiding, 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 raiding. Oh, he's even... Look, look, kill that. He's putting a farm in my face. How dare he? These villages are all being bad because of this temple. Just ignore the fact that the temple's so obscenely bad. And now we can get more farms. We can start thinking about casting rain here. Get out of self more Sphinx out as well. And effectively, that's the build. You click rain at about six minutes with um, with 12 farms would be good. So we'll click rain. The armory comes down. We want to be getting ourselves pickaxe here as well. We get so many Sphinx. You just run around the, the map with the Sphinx and just enjoy life. That that that's the build. A little bit more than four minutes, but that's effectively the build. This is uh this is this can be obscenely strong against unprepared Norse players. You could probably get some um have some fun fun games against uh against some Greek players as well with like an early eclipse here. Like say you go uh, your opponent, you're playing against a Greek opponent. They send their heroes forward to try and push you off the hunt that you're not on. You send your Sphinx around. And they're trying to build a town center. You cast a clip. You pick off like five villages or six villages with the Sphinx. And you just uh, skyrocket to the Heroic Age. And and then you're just playing kind of like a regular Ra in the Heroic Age of one town center kind of vibes with, with uh, two monuments and the Sphinx pumping out. It's a bit of a fun build. Tommy don't recommend it in most matchups, but you can give it a go and, and have some have some fun. It's really strong in team games as well against the unsuspecting Norse players. Uh, I get the top level. I think it doesn't work so well, but it's still a it's still a way to play the game. Uh, anyways, 
uh, that is it. We'll move on to the next build order now. So it turns out that the builds on Mediterranean are basically exactly the same as ISIS. So I would recommend you jumping over and just re-watching the ISIS builds and effectively you just get an extra empower in the early games. Your economy is just a little bit stronger than, uh, than ISIS on those water maps. Basically the same thing. Uh, so check that out. I'll leave uh, a click box here for you to click on. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.